escape plan. Leave the rat race in the dust. Fap. We're getting ready to do the plumbing. There's the water tank. So these water tanks come plugged up. The plug will screw out of there. And I've got all the fittings. So out of the water tank will be one of those. There's a braided hose. The braided hose will go into the strainer for the pump. And then coming out of the pump will be one of these things the hose going off the actual hardware here and then I'll have another one of those fittings that way the hose clamps and hose fit everything now if you're not using hot water just plug it off Without the plug, when someone turns it on, the water would come across and just run into the sink. So if you don't have hot water, just plug it off. So now it's just a matter of getting it all put together. This is the gray Teflon tape. You just want to wrap around it twice the same way that you're going to be screwing on. So all it takes is one or two wraps. And you don't need to put the plug on Gorilla tight, just make it snug. So the first step is to put these black pieces that screw on. So I've got it all put together. This is the hot water side, which will cap off. And then this hardware goes on this side. This is where the fill goes in. I'm taking that cap out. And this is the air vent. These flow jet pumps come with quick disconnect fittings. So this pops in there real easy. And you can get them ready for hoses like that. So I'll go in and Teflon tape that and put those together. The good thing about working with stainless is I don't have to wait for the countertop to be done to do this. There's my hole for where the water is going to come in. I've got the sink hole plumbed. All I've got to do is drop it in place and start feeding the hose through. That's it plumbed in place. Now I'm going to go in there and measure out and cut it to where it's going to be. There's the water. Then it comes through the other side and we'll go to the pump right there. And then from here I'm going into the tank and you can see I've got straps to tie the tank down there's a the hardware for the next one so I'm gonna hook that up right now that's the one out of the sink that's the one out of the tank put the pump in place And then all I've got to do is just snap them quick connects in. Plumbing is done. Tank strapped down. There's the strainer. So you can see the water going through it as it pumps. And it comes out the other side. Goes into the sink cabinet. And goes up into the sink. Super simple. Now all that's left is to hook that up to the power. It needs to have an on and off switch, which I'm going to put right there. And we'll fill it up with water and test it out today. So what I did where the drain comes down, 
is they have a flexible drain. I got some of that stuff and that way it's not dripping onto the frame and comes out past the frame. The first fill up. We're going to be looking for leaks. All right, you can turn it off. Here's the first fill up. See the water line? That's all you need for this test. Just over there. And if you can see, there's a piece of paper there. There's a piece of paper there. Just a single drop. We'll be able to see it. So now we just hang out and let it sit for a minute, and then we'll start to pump up and see how it drains. And that's the trial for the plumbing system. And what I did is, you see, I don't have the countertop on yet, and this sink isn't attached in place because it's not easy to work in this tiny space. So if something leaks, I can easily take everything apart. I just hit the switch for the pump for the first time and it primed itself just fine. You see that water level in there so he can, he can see what the quality of his water is. That's the strainer basket. So as there's pressure in the system now. Now all that's left it's for the owner to do <laughs> to do the honors. Initial air will come out. Put it all the way on. And after it purges the air in the system, all right, turn it off. Now the entire system is under pressure. There's water. In all of the lines, all of the air has been taken out. And all that's left is just to hang out with it for a little while and see if it leaks. And we'll do some driving and test it again.